Welcome back to Mr. Secrets TV. Um, today we're going to talk about how to create an animation of your puzzle cube assignment in Fusion. So stick around, it's going to be deconstructive. Okay, so we want to take this apart so we can both get an exploded view for uh, our puzzle cube drawings as well as a video, uh, assembly video on how to put this thing together. So what we're going to use is we're going to use animation. So we have our puzzle cube uh, assembly opened up. We're going to go over here to animation and then it's going to bring us into the um, animation workspace. So down here is our storyboard. It's where our clips go if we think of this as kind of making a movie. Um, up here we can create another storyboard. Um, we have our tools for actually moving parts around. We have our animation like uh, create a call out which we are not going to use. We have our record and not record and we have our publishing button. So one thing is when you are recording if you move the screen like to zoom in or out like this it's going to record each one of these movements separately. So um, this can be a bit challenging so you got to play with this uh, record unrecord. So I have this set up at one second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to tell it to rotate 90 degrees. And that's perfect. That's what I want. And then I can hit, I can bring this down for one second. Because what we're going to start on this video by doing is we are going to make a full 160 kind of perusal of the puzzle cube. So I'm then going to advance it one more. It recorded another segment. Then I'm going to advance it one more and it recorded another segment. They're roughly seconds, it doesn't matter that much. One more, I'm always going in the same direction, and one more. So the first five seconds of our video is going to show the part rotating around in a 180 degree sequence. Now, what we want to do is, next I'm going to move this because I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we got some space, so I'm going to bring it out, there we go. So it should rotate, rotate, and if we do it, my, for whatever reason, my video card, we get this glitch where it shows it twice, so bear with me, but it's going to rotate through each rotation, and then it's going to zoom out, and then it went, jumped back to the beginning because it was going to play it again, but um, right now we just want to have it here at the end, so it's zoomed out. So the assignment for my students is typically... Every piece has to move in a linear pattern. At least one of them needs to move in a dog leg. One of them needs to move at an angle. And all of them must spin at least uh, 270 degrees so you can see kind of the entire entirety of each piece. So um, we're going to start with the white piece. And to, to take it apart, we're going to use this transition uh, tool. I like, I think, believe this is transitions all levels. We want to just use this one. So I'm going to hit transition and I'm going to grab the white piece and I can just simply drag it up. I want to drag it up enough so it's not interfering with the main body of the part. And um, I simply click OK and you will see that it recorded a movement which I can slide back and forth so we can come back here and hit play. And you'll notice it'll finish the pan out and then that starts to go up. It's playing it twice as I've said, I have a glitch. But you can see the whole sequence right there. Now I want this white piece to also spin. I also need to make, I need to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to slide over a little bit more and zoom out. There we go. Um, which has this. And what I'll probably do is put that there so it kind of slides and does it all at the same time. So I'm going to go transition and I'm going to grab this piece. And this is the Z axis. So I want to rotate it and I'm going to do 450, which is 90 degree more than a full circle and I can click OK and it puts this little recorded icon which I can then slide over and lengthen if I can, there we go, lengthen it. So it's going to start to come up and then it's going to start to rotate. Okay, so if we come back and we play it from here, we're going to zoom out quite a bit because it's going to transition right into another zoom out and then it's going to rotate. So we've done, that's just the straight movement with the rotation, which is what I want. Now we're going to go ahead and pull this blue piece out, and this one's going to be at an angle. So the way to do an angle is if I select the blue piece and I first pull it this way and then push it back, which, and then I click OK, obviously this comes here, I can lengthen it a little bit. There is no length of time required 
for the video. I normally tell students, don't bore me. So you want to get it done in a prompt manner would be the word I would use. So it's coming out, it's going to rotate, and then you'll see the blue one moves at an angle in a dog leg format. So that one moved in a dog leg, and I'm going to rotate it as well. So I can select here, and in this case, the y-axis, I'm going to have it spin in for end. So I am going to do 540 which should be 180 more than it. And you'll notice they line up, and you could have it come to a full stop before the rotation starts, or I always kind of overlap them. So if you play here, you can see it's going to come out, then it's going to start rotating. Okay, and it'll end at 540. So um, I have now meant my just straight line, my angle, and then on this green piece, I'm going to have to slide it out and what's called a dog leg come out and then come down. So if we do this, oh, I should move this forward or it'll record it. Um, I can select the component, the green piece. I'm going to slide it out. And then I'm going to slide it down. Now, normally that would make it go out at an angle, which I would not allow because this piece is wrapped around the yellow, the red piece, I'm sorry. And I always tell students it has to take come apart the way it can actually go in real life. And you couldn't really do this in real life. But if you hit split transitions, it will divide this down here into two transitions. So if we go back and hit play, you'll notice that the, this piece is going to start spinning. And the green piece is going to move straight out and then come down in what's called a dog leg. So that is how you get a dog leg to go. Now, obviously, I would need to rotate the green piece now. The green piece is going to rotate because we have this part on the bottom, I am going to rotate this around the x-axis, and I'm just going to do 270 degrees. And if I scroll down, I can drag this over a little bit so it starts to rotate during that dog leg sequence. So it's coming out, and then it's going to start rotating so I can see the whole part, and we get what we want. Now, the remaining two pieces, I let students do any way they want. Um, and uh, they need to be separated in a way where there are, none of the pieces overlap any of the other pieces in this view. Boom, through the magic of editing, I now have it fully done. So here we go, here's the whole video. We have it rotating around, it's roughly 20 seconds long, which now I have to fill with words. But here we go, so it's rotating around so we can see all the views. It's zooming out, the white piece rotates, the blue piece then rotates, the green piece dog legs out. The black piece comes out at an angle, and the red piece spins around. So we now have the thing fully taken apart. The key for the drawings, for the puzzle cube drawings that we're going to need, is to have this look nice and clean at the end. So this is a clean view of the pieces. They're separated in a way that I can see and identify each piece. It doesn't really matter what color they are. I can see and kind of line up the pieces. So, but for the video portion, we're, we're, we're done for the uh, puzzle cube drawing assignment portion we need of animation. But I want to make a video where it comes apart and goes back together. So how do we do that? A lot of students would spend hours looking at each one of these, keeping track of the distances and reversing the process, but there is a better way. And that better way is if we make a copy of the storyboard down here, and then we paste the copy of the storyboard, we now have two. And you'll notice if we click on Storyboard 2, we can do Reverse. And this has the process of it going back together. And by and large, I do not want, oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, I do not want the, the, these end videos of it spinning around anymore. We don't need that. So we can go along and delete all of these so that it'll come together. And what you'll notice is... If we go back to the beginning here and we hit play, you will see that it spins in the opposite direction and it then goes back together the way we want it. We had that little zoom in to get it tighter now that it's smaller. And then there we go. And we have the full disassembly and assembly. Now we are ready to publish this, to make a video. So to make a video, we're going to go ahead and um, go to Publish. I tell the students to use the uh, one um, 
1024 by 1024 because I like the square videos. It also comes through well on our LMS. You simply click OK. You simply say you're going to save it to the downloads. And it already exists because I did a trial run, so I click yes. It's going to take a few minutes to publish this. And then we can jump over to the downloads and we can watch, uh, preview the video. Now, if we go to my downloads folder, through the magic of video editing, here is the Puzzle Cube video. And you can see it rotating around just like we did. It's taken the screen. The squareness helps the screen get down to a manageable size because if you use the other aspect ratios, it's a problem. But you'll see it comes all the way apart and spins around. And you can put it all the way back together doing the reverse process. And you're done. Turn it in via Schoology to me. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and have a fantastic day.